I wish when I'm sick that I could just rest like a normal person, but no, I had to uproot my life and completely change my operating system. Now, in this new era of digital intentionalism, I've decided to get rid of big tech and more specifically big tech relating to American companies. I really want to have more control over my technology and how I use it. This is why I changed my phone to Graphene OS. And this week, while I've been under the weather, as you can hear from my voice, I decided to uproot my entire operating system and switch from Windows to Linux. I never thought I'd be able to do this. I did purchase a ThinkPad P52 last year in hopes of switching over to Linux, but I got a bit scared because I was using specific software for editing, DaVinci Resolve to be exact. I know that DaVinci Resolve can work on Linux and more specifically, it works with Red Hat. Now, if you don't have any familiarity with Linux, don't worry, you're not alone. I was the same. I didn't know the difference between Linux and the distros that went along with Linux. At the base, Linux is a kernel and it is the core of all of the operating systems associated with the distros. Now, a distro or a distribution is a specific operating system that works off the Linux kernel. Now, when you're choosing a distribution, you really need to take in mind how easy is it for you to use? Will it work with the software that you're using currently? And is there a lot of community support for that specific distro? I emphasize the community support because if you're new to Linux, it's really important to get familiar with the community and the more involved the community is, the more support you'll have to be able to answer your questions, be able to troubleshoot and really get comfortable with the operating system itself. Now, with that being said, there are distros for everybody. There are some that look more like Windows. There are some that look more kind of like a hybrid Mac OS interface. And there are some, of course, you can customize completely to look the way you want it to look. Now, when I decided on my distro, I actually had one of you from the community reach out to me, Tyler Multifarious to be exact, and guide me in the right direction to be able to use a distro that worked with my software needs. Now, for my needs as a content creator, I needed something that worked with OBS, which is already an open source software, so that wasn't much of an issue. And of course, DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a little bit more complicated, and again, it usually works with Red Hat, but Red Hat also supports the distro Fedora. So I decided to choose Fedora for this reason. Now, as far as the advantages of using a Linux distro over a Windows or Apple system is primarily for privacy. Now, all of these companies that are closed source or have their own operating systems are also collecting information and data and leaves your privacy a bit at risk. For example, Windows is continually data mining our uses, the applications we use and certain applications installed, of course, are taking that information as well. That information, of course, could be used to sell you more products, more target marketing, as well as can be taken advantage of by malware. Now, I'm not saying Linux is the most safe operating system, but there are a lot of fail safes to put in place to kind of protect your data a bit more. It's also less used than most operating systems, so those targeting you for taking or installing malware, of course, are less likely to happen based on the different distros used in Linux. Now, I also wanted to switch to Linux for performance reasons. My computers work all right, but the battery life isn't great, and when I'm editing on my ThinkPad, there is a lot of lagginess, and I wanted to be able to use all of my memory dedicated to my editing process rather than having things running in the background and of course data mining. If this video makes it out and you're watching it now, this means I was able to successfully edit and export it onto my device using Linux Fedora 41. Now when installing Linux on your device, make sure that it's compatible of course with your hardware and there are, again, a lot of community supports for this, but go to the distribution page itself and follow the step-by-step -step guide. I did this for Fedora. I was able to flash a USB drive, 
plug it into my computer and reboot. And in the boot menu, I was able to boot into Fedora and then install it on my computer. That process was actually quite fast and I really had no issues doing this. It's the parts that come after that got me kind of frustrated. Now challenges with Linux for me was getting drivers to work with my graphics card and of course my external monitor. I went through a lot of troubleshooting and one of the reasons I was happy to choose Fedora was the supportive community. Now, any question I had has probably already popped up and I was correct in this. I went through the process of trying to install my NVIDIA drivers and this enables you to use your graphics card with the operating system. And this was a complete nightmare. I'm not gonna lie, this took a lot of technical trial and error, a lot of breaking, a lot of repairing, and eventually I got through it. And the benefit was that I felt really powerful and in control of my operating system as well as my computer itself. I started to learn how things were working together and not just mindlessly using my technology and hoping that it just works. Once I got it to work, I felt very accomplished and very proud of myself. I installed OBS for my streaming software. That was working flawlessly, but the next step was DaVinci Resolve. I would not have been able to install this software successfully without the help, again, of the channel supporter, Tyler Multifarious. He made a step-by-step -step guide. I'll link it down below if you're curious. And this guide helped me successfully install and use DaVinci Resolve on my Linux operating system, Fedora 41. Now, if you're using another distribution, this method might not work for you, but I'm using it in this specific use case. And if you're watching this video, this means of course that I successfully accomplished that task. Now, would I suggest Linux for everybody? No, but if you're somebody who likes to learn new technology, if you're somebody who really wants to take control of how you use your computer, if you're somebody who wants more privacy and security, I definitely suggest trying it out. If you have an older computer lying around that you're not using, maybe try it with that one first before trying it with your main device. As somebody who loves tinkering with tech and somebody who likes learning new things, I found this challenge really fulfilling, even though frustrating at the same time. So far, I don't regret switching. Yes, sometimes there are some software issues, but honestly, there's always a workaround to find for the solution, like with DaVinci Resolve. As somebody who's left the Google ecosystem and the Apple ecosystem, I was comfortable with already using a lot of open source applications and I was happy to find out that most of these open source apps work perfectly fine on my Linux distribution. One thing I do like about Fedora is the unique operating system and user interface. I've never seen something like this. It's kind of like a hybrid of iOS with a future version that could exist in 20 years maybe, but probably not because we're talking about Apple, so they usually keep things the same. I really like the ease of use. The accessibility features are great. And of course you can go further and customize if you need to go further with that. It is a learning curve on how to change your workflow. If you're used to working in the same operating system in the same ways, of course you're going to have to adapt and learn different ways. I find this keeps life a little bit more interesting. I don't like doing the same thing all the time. And as somebody who's constantly switching devices, my brain needs to learn new things and Linux is perfect for that. I'm always learning, I'm always adapting, and I really don't regret switching for now. It's only been a few days and I've been doing this on the side since I've been under the weather. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So if you're somebody who is not very comfortable with tech, I would say ease yourself into this process. It can be frustrating. It can be a bit time consuming when you're troubleshooting different things. But if you're somebody who likes solving problems and solving puzzles, and I don't know, I like being frustrated to the point to where it motivates me to learn something and fix it. So this has been an amazing process. I don't regret it. I really enjoy it. I wish I would have done it sooner. 
Are you using a Linux distro? Let me know down below how yours is working out for you. And I will share further down the road things I've learned, how my setup is working out. And again, I want to thank all of you for watching and supporting the channel, especially my members. So I wanna give a big shout out to Grim Cole, of course, and Tyler Multifarious. And thank you so much for watching and see you soon.